Welcome to Playoff Basketball on 2K Sports. Tonight, a series on the brink. A Western Conference champion could very well be crowned here in Game 4. Hi, everyone. Here with analyst Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce, our reporter. So the opening lineup for the Timberwolves. McDaniels and Towns in at the forward slots. Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. And it's Gobert in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Mavericks. Luca and Kyrie with a talented backcourt. Daniel Gafford is out there with P.J. Washington. And it's Exum in at the three. You look at Dallas, they've dominated the series and are now in position to clinch the conference championship in front of their home fans. Yeah, I mean, it's been a topsy-turvy series. I don't know of anyone who thought they'd sweep, but here they are. If they close this out tonight, they'll go into the finals with a lot of momentum and a lot of rest. So Dallas will get the first possession. Doncic feeling it out a bit. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. You know, as I watch Doncic, I think it's futile to try to distract this guy. His focus and concentration and control of himself is excellent. Now here's Towns. Outside Edwards. From downtown. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. And here's Doncic. He'll bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Here's Irving. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Edwards, a pass to McDaniels. Now Edwards. Oh, they get a hand on it. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. And Washington powers it through. Can't do it much better than that. Washington in beast mode. Now just over a minute played here in the first. Conley passes to Gobert. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming. Look, we all know Rudy Gobert is a force on defense, but you can't afford to ever ignore this guy. I mean, he's got the physical gifts to make problems anywhere on the floor. so far from the floor. Doncic outside. Back to Irving. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Luka's peripheral vision off the chart. Get wide open and he's going to find outside Conlon. Has to go back. to shoot and the call is going to be yes an illegal screen one of the trickier plays to judge but it would be hard to argue against the call yeah you know the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call as a matter of fact i know i got away with a lot of those in my playing days but that was 40 years ago now here's gafford now here's washington Doncic outside for three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Four or five to start the game. That's their first miss. Here's Conley. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. A cagey score on the inside. Conley has the smarts and he has the skill. On the wing, Irving. Conley against Doncic. 
Myers from the wing. Again, Dallas. Oh, that jump shot is wet. Oh, this, says Doncic. Any kind of airspace, and he's knocking that down. Pass to Towns. The Mavericks pull it in. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Exum. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now here's Conley. Perfect night so far. Two for two. You see the poise from the veteran Conley. Showing no fear attacking the defense inside. Here's Exum. McDaniels covering. Shot from 12. Exum's shot is off. And so Conley will bring it up for the T-Wolves. Eight-point game. Now oh, here's McDaniels. Defense right on it. Washington grabs the miss. The Mavericks have got six of eight shots to go. Pass to Exum. Doesn't go that time. McDaniels with some nice D. Edwards against Irving. It's Edwards on the wing. Yet to see a basket. And Dallas with possession. Here's Doncic. Let's it go from 14. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. Oh, you have to love the spin move there. But he couldn't quite gather himself for the shot. Two points. That one goes. Conley's got his third bucket of the night. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Irving up top. Guarded by Edwards. The 15-footer. Again the miss by the Mavericks. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with him. Misses it off the right side of the rim. The Mavericks leading. Doncic right side. Luka with the crafty shot fake. Outstanding at tricking the defense. Two shots. the first. You know, one of the things I like about watching Doncic is the pace he plays at. You're not going to speed him up. He plays at his pace. The pace he dictates. Doncic hits them both. with the ball. Six points for him. Now time a timeout, timeout called by Minnesota.
Gobert passes to McDaniels. Edwards looking for an opening. Pass to McDaniels. From 13, Doncic pulls down the board. The Mavericks on offense. They're on a 14-6 run. Irving finds Gafford. That one's good for two. Really taking charge of the game, largely with a detailed interior attack. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. Here's Towns, following the score by Dallas. Over Washington, Edwards. Great positioning on the putback. Boy, I love the hustle from Edwards that time. Excellent anticipation on the offensive glass. Edwards against Irving. And that one drops. Irving's got six. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flowing rhythm to their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possession. Edwards releases. It falls. He's now two of five from the field. Flashing pretty advanced shot Sorry. creation skills. I see many good defense, better offense moments in the future of Anthony Edwards. And Dallas calls time here. the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Reed's checked in for Gobert. Anderson comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Anthony Edwards. And it's Morris in for Mike Conley. Here's Lively. And here's Jones. Outside Hardaway. Doncic outside. Drains the triple. Doncic has got nine. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Now here's Anderson. Reed passes to Alexander Walker. Here he goes. Back to Reed. Basket counts. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. Dallas has gone one or two from three-point land so far. To the paint. Here's Doncic. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. Outside Hardaway. Doncic on the wing, started by Morris. Doncic against Morris. Doncic, no good. The Timberwolves have got 7 of 15 to find the net. Here's Anderson. Jones grabs the board. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. They're leading by 8. 
Doncic, because he's so skilled and so savvy, he does a nice job forcing the defense into tough spots when they're guarding. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Mavericks. Everything working for them inside so far, guys. Tons of high-quality shots that they're knocking down inside. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. The first free throw is good. Makes the first, but misses the second. The Timberwolves trail. Outside McDaniels. Knocked away. It's stolen by Doncic. And now the Mavs on the run. And it's Green missing. You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. Here's Alexander Walker. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth from that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. throw is good. leading. Doncic left side. Down low. Here's Lively. And he parries his first look. And Minnesota calls time here. Minnesota has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Morris passes to McDaniels. Pass to Reed. Back to Daniels. Banked it in off the glass. You're not going to get every shot off clean. McDaniels recognizes that, and 
made the adjustment accordingly. Dallas calls timeout. Here's Doncic. He's got 10. From behind the arc. Another three for Dallas. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. And so Morris will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They trail by 11. Drops in the layup for two. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Dallas has gone two for three from outside the arc. Here's Green. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. You know, that's not how you screen for your guys, but ultimately, they still found a way to come away with the hoop. Outside McDaniels. Green in the post. Misses with the fallback, Jay. Here's Dallas. 11-point game. Here's Doncic. Reed with the rebound. Minnesota's gone one or two from three-point land so far. Doncic against Morris. Here's Alexander Walker. Pass to Reed. Six on the shot clock. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Alexander Walker with the bucket. Alexander Walker's got six. The Mavericks shooting at around 59%. Their offense is clicking right now. Here's Doncic. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on Nas Reed. Two. He misses the free throw. Good on the second. There's 53 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Morris passes to Alexander Walker. Count it. And it's Morris with the assist. He's got nine. The Mavericks leading. Now Hardaway. The three is up. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. It's turned into a showdown here. 
dueling from distance. Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. We can't hit. Boy, that's finishing the defense there. He made a good effort on that possession defensively and then closed it out with the rebound. Doncic outside. Hardaway on the wing. Pass to Lively. No good there. Nice D from Reed. To the inside. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. There's six seconds left in the first quarter here. Here's Irving. Sweet little floater. Irving's got eight. Give Irving some room to get it off. That little floating jumps out of his, and you'll regret it for sure. Oh, what a performance by Luka Doncic. He has been the story for Dallas. Absolutely carrying the offense. He ends the quarter with 14. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Glad to have you with us as we return to the action here in the Western Conference Finals. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks. They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. Now here's Conley on the court for the Timberwolves. Second quarter underway. They have their two big men out there, Towns and Gobert, working inside. Nikhil Alexander-Walker out there with Mike Conley. And it's Edwards in at the three. Here's Conley. Fires the three. The shot by Alexander-Walker, no good. Dallas has gone three of four from distance in this game. Here's Washington. And some solid defense from Towns. It's Conley with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They trail by nine. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. Look at the toughness from Conley. He's seen a lot in this league and won't go down easy. Hardaway, the pass to Washington. Outside Irving. Five to shoot. To Hardaway. Fires the three. And it's rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got four rebounds now. Oh, there's the alley. And Cafford with the block. Out to the right wing. Back to Irving. From deep three point land. Rebound, Minnesota. Gobert's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Edwards. Sinks his third bucket. He's three for six now. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Irving. Tipped. And he's able to get it back. Misses the fadeaway. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them, too. Here's Alexander Walker. Another shot. Shot's good by Towns. Towns has got his first two points of the night. Exactly what they needed from Towns. Using his size and strength to box out and keep that play alive. And connects on the nine-footer. And the Mavericks lead by five. Boy, he's been a rock 
of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Connolly with the ball. Irving picks him up. Takes a 13-footer. The shot by Connolly. No good. Now, there's an example of good defense beating good offense. Down low. And the dunk by Gafford. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride and makes it look easy. And about three minutes played now in the second quarter. And Gafford with the block. And now the Mavs on the run. Right there, Irving does a nice job of anticipating the contact, so he braces himself for it and then works through it. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Kyrie Irving, special. I mean, as skilled a player as you'll ever see when it comes to handling the ball and scoring in close. Luka Doncic just checked in for Hardaway. Reed's checked in for Minnesota. McDaniels comes in for Alexander Walker. And that's good as he hits both shots. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Outside Conley. Pass to Towns. For Washington, it's good from in tight. Towns has gotten his second bucket. Come on, guys. Check out the tenacity. There's no back down in this fellow whatsoever. And here's Doncic outside. Oh, Doncic from way out there. Prolific from deep. Luka, one of the best in the game right now. Outside Conlon. Pass to Edwards. It's rebounded by Dallas. Washington's got a sixth rebound on the night. The putback. Way to work the glass. Buffet style. Second chance buckets. They can make a big difference. Edwards with it. Six points for him. Pass to Reed. Launches it. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Gafford with the ball. To the wing. Right side. Here's Exum. Oh, and Reed with a block. Now here's McDaniels. He's closely guarded. To Conley. Reed with it. He's guarded by Gafford. Reed against Gafford. Reed passes to McDaniels. Doncic grabs the miss. And Doncic has got the ball here for the Mavs. 12 point lead, their biggest of the game. Here's Gafford. Up again. Boy. Absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. Minnesota's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Towns. Over Washington to stop the run. Towns can't get it to go. Dallas has gone 1 of 4 from three-point land here in the second. Irving finds Doncic, and down it goes. Two time points. Doncic has got 19 points. Doncic giving you the full package. Superstar for sure. And Minnesota calls time here. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat.
Thomas. He's checked in for the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves really having a tough go here. Pass to Reed. To end the drought. And Cafford with the block. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Morris passes to Towns. The Timberwolves again can't hit. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Jones, he's checked in for Dallas. Green comes in for Exum. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Anderson's checked in. Here's Lively, outside Jones. Pass to Irving, beyond the arc. Oh, good D by Edwards. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. Now here's Edwards. He's got six. Six to shoot. Will it go? Doncic pulls down the board. Doncic has got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Green. Ooh, good work defensively by Morris. Minnesota's gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. McDaniels can't hit. That's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. And it's Irving missing. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. On the attack, Morris. Here's Anderson. And that comes off the assist by Morris. Morris has got his third assist of the night. You make your teammates better by giving them good passes. That one was perfect. Now here's Doncic. He's got 19. On the wing, Green, McDaniels covering, Lively, and it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Taking it right at the rack. I mean, that defense is looking real frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for them at that end of the floor. Here's Anderson. Pass to Morris. The 11-footer. Offensive board. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. the work ethic of Anthony Edwards, not to mention that linebacker build and the sweet shooting stroke, but what he wants most is to see his team succeed. That's what you love about A.E. From deep, here's Doncic. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Morris outside. Reed launches a three. Jones grabs the board. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. Outside for Green. No good with the triple. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Here's Anderson. Finished off the break. Anderson's got his second basket of the game. Capable of finding his open guys. Edwards getting better and improving his overall floor awareness. Nice to see. And the leading 
creases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely asleep. Reed. Can't get it to fall. Not a single point in this quarter for him. Obviously, not what they need right now. He's got to score. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Hardaway's checked in for the Mavericks. Gobert's checked in for the Timberwolves. Alexander Walker comes in for McDaniels. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. If they're going to go on a run, Grant, there's no better time than right now. You're so right, B.A. I think they definitely expected a closer game than this. Now here's Morris. Here's Gobert. And Gobert with the stuff. Stay clear of Gobert on the dunk now. The force he goes to the rim with is mighty. Morris against Doncic. He can't hit that time. Good D by Gobert. Timberwolves shooting an average of 43% from the floor. Here's Alexander Walker. Misses off the right iron. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter. But he's determined to stay after him. Kicks it to Doncic. We've got 123 left in the first half of basketball. Jones, the pass to Green. Down to five on the shot clock. And Gobert with a block. Love the way Gobert goes after shots. He blocks quite a few and alters many more. Offensive rebound. Inside, Gobert puts it in. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Back to green. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And he drops the first. He wasn't quite as assertive as he needed to be in the first quarter, but now he's taking a more head-on approach and getting himself to the line. And both free throws good for Green. For the Timberwolves, they're shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. Edwards, a pass to Morris. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard! Doncic against Morris. Doncic outside. Clock at six. Four three. Knocks it down from distance. 
Doncic has got eight points here in the quarter. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, this hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. And so it's Dallas looking in total control with this 17-point advantage as the buzzer sounds. They put in work down low, getting in close and scoring in bunches. Back after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Halfway home tonight's Western Conference Finals battle. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. We've had a great view of all of the action tonight. Well, for the Mavericks, this game has been a continuation of the dominance they've shown throughout the series. They've got their brooms ready, and it doesn't look like anything's going to hold off the sweep. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, coming into this one, these teams seem evenly matched. Like, I didn't know who was going to win. They were both the same, in my estimation. But one team came out ready to play, while the other was sleeping. How about you, Shaq? What'd you think about Minnesota? I know teams love to rely on the three these days, but you got to know when to get away from it. They didn't, at least throughout the first half. Hopefully they're making the adjustments, but sometimes teams just get stubborn. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we welcome you back to Game 4, folks. Thanks for joining us. Boy, really an incredible game here from Luka Doncic. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Daniel Gafford is out there with P.J. Washington. Then it's Luka Doncic, and it's Exum in at the three. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Here's Lively. Pass to Doncic. Here's Exum, guarded by Morris. Doncic passes to Washington. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Washington's got five. A little silky smooth there by Washington. Only takes him a few seconds to lock and load. Back to Edwards. And he goes in for the dunk. Oh, doctor. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards. Throwing it down with force. Get this guy in the dunk contest. There's the AT&T 5G slam can. Capturing the moment. Doncic outside. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. Pass to Exum. Inside the arc. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Edwards got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside Conley. Here's Gobert. And here's Edwards outside. He drops it from range. 14 points for him. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Mavericks lead by 17. Trying to knock Luka off his game, distracting and frustrating, but he just plays through contact like it's not there. Towns outside. Pass to Conley. And Cafford with the block. And here's Washington. He's got five. And the dunk by Gafford. For an excellent passer for a big man. P.J. Washington's floor awareness. Impressive. Outside Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. I almost can't believe what I saw. 
incredible. I'm speechless, timeout, man. Timeout. I'm speechless. He's one of the few players Pardon? in the NBA who can pull something like that off. And Dallas calls time here. Checked in for the Mavericks. And the Timberwolves also making a change. McDaniels has checked in for Morris. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Back to Doncic. And he lobs it up top. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Doncic. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. And Minnesota has possession. 17-point game. Pass to Towns. And there it is for him. Towns has got six. And I'm trying to think of how many seven-footers I know with that level floater in their arsenal. It's a short roll call list, folks. Now here's Irving. 14 points for him. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Gotcha, you get Conway. Outside Edwards. Pass to Gobert. Six to shoot. Now here's Towns. Let's a three fly. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Towns has got five points in the quarter. And Irving has got the ball here for Dallas. They led the game at one point by 20. And it looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. One of the trickier plays to judge. But it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days. But that was 40 years ago. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Reed's checked in. Pass to Towns. It's stolen by Doncic. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. Washington outside. The shot. And that one's good. Washington's got his third basket on the night right there. Well, Washington, a very capable shooter, man. What I like about him is he takes good shots. Here's Reed. And Cafford with the block. Out of bounds. Timberwolves ball as Minnesota keeps possession. on D. They lead by 14. McDaniels from long range. Doncic pulls down the board. Doncic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got four rebounds now. Pass to McDaniels. Tries again. Basket's good. McDaniels got his second bucket on the night. Making the save. McDaniels secures the rock and gets the second chance look. 
Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And the Mavericks lead by 14. Outside McDaniels. Back to Conley. Pass to Reed. And the layup is good. Reed's got a second basket. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. Here's Exum. It's tipped. Conley looking for an opening. Now Towns. Back to Conley. Six on the shot clock. Floats one. And he sinks the layup. Conley's got ten points. He's showing off those instincts that make Conley such an offensive threat. Makes a good call and opts for the floater. Pass to Irving. Over Edwards. Here's Washington. And he battles for the ball. Gets his second chance bucket. Washington's got seven points here in the quarter. And there he is. I mean, attacking the boards, converting off the misses. I mean, trying to do everything he can to secure this W. Well, he enjoys deflating the opposition with those extra possessions. Time called here. The Timberwolves decide to talk it over. You know, one guy who's been getting it done is Luka Doncic. With the way he's cooking, they have to find a way to run him off his spot more. Look for Dallas. Jones, he's checked in for Washington. Green comes in for Exum. And Hardaway is subbed in for Doncic. Anderson's checked in for the Timberwolves. Alexander Walker comes in for Anthony Edwards. A sloppy turnover. When you're not locked in, you pay the price. And it's Green with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. Outside Jones. to Irving lets it fly he hits the back iron and sinks it Irving's got 16 points it sure was textbook and Irving is fantastic in the screen roll a solid decision making he set and he also can put it in the basket himself if he needs to Reed good defensively gotta close out a little faster that's a look he'll make with regularity Dallas has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Outside Hardaway. Irving for three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Reed's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Alexander Walker. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. 14 points for him. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow. And it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Now here's Irving. He's got 16, and he gets it to go. Irving's got four points this quarter. Flashing those crazy handles. I mean, major rush hour handles. So fun watching Irving handle the ball the way he does. Reed against Gafford. Anderson. And finished off by Anderson. A bit undersized. His hops make him a legit small ball four. Pass 
to Jones. Now Gafford. He's got 10. Outside Irving. Outside Green. Shoots over Reed. Here's Gafford. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Now here's Anderson. He has six. Reed finds Anderson. Here's Alexander Walker, defended by Hardaway. Tries it for 19. And Minnesota again with a bucket. Dallas is gone, only one of three from deep here in the third. Pass to Gafford. Now here's Hardaway. He's got five. Shot clock at six. On the wing, Irving. Up and over Conley. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Irving's got 20 points. Good awareness that time by Irving of where the shot clock was. Alexander Walker, the pass to McDaniels. Here's Alexander Walker. He's got 16. For Hardaway. Good D by Hardaway. Dallas has got 6 out of 15 three so far in this game. To the middle. And Gafford gets it to go on the assist by Irving. Gafford's got six points in the quarter. Hey, there's no denying it. Kyrie is a score-first guard, but he's a better passer than he gets credit for. Here's Reed. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Irving for three. They grab their own miss. No good. Minnesota's gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Irving against Conley. A minute 29 left to play in the third quarter. Reed for three. Gafford grabs the miss. Not his best night, and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. From behind the... Minnesota with a rebound. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. And their outside game has simply evaporated here in the second half. Not a lot of great looks time from deep. Timeout time out on the floor. Mavericks. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert's checked in for McDaniels. And it's Morris in for Mike Conley. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter.
Free throw good. Green. He's off on the second. Minnesota's gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. 46 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Alexander Walker. Here's Gobert. Gobert takes it to the interior D. Double-digit boards, a regular occurrence for Gobert. Makes it easier to get those second-chance hoops, too. Hardaway finds Irving. Back to Hardaway. And out of bounds, Minnesota will have it. Washington's checked in for Gafford. Edwards, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And here's Gobert. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. Trailing by 10. And rejected. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Reed passes to Morris. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Kyrie Irving. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Free throws good from Morris. So it's the Mavericks now. They led the game at one point by 20. Outside Irving. Here's Washington. What a play! He drains it at the buzzer! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. And so it's Dallas ending the quarter up 10. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. So for Minnesota right now, inside we got Towns and Gobert. Monte Morris is out there with Kyle Anderson. And it's Edwards in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Washington. Offline with a three. It's Edwards on the wing. Baseline jumper. Goes back up. Morris outside. It 
Nova Doncic. The kick out to Morris. Outside and five to shoot. Pass to Towns. They shoot again. He gets it in there. Boy, that sharp awareness of Towns. Clock running out. He just beats it. The Mavericks leading. Here's Lively. Back to Doncic. Luka! Get off me! The size mismatch makes that a high percentage look. Morris deciding where to go with it. Pass to Gobert. Lively grabs a miss. Lively's got his fourth rebound in this one. Edwards against Irving. Puts it up from 12. Another one falls for Dallas. Oh, yeah. Irving, he has the mid-range in his bag now. He can knock those shots now. Irving against Anderson. The basket drops, and he gets fouled Sounds on good. the shot. One free throw coming his way. Sounds good. Once he saw the smaller defender guarding him, he took it right to the rack. Some changes for Minnesota. McDaniels comes in for Gobert, and Conley subbed in for Morris. He'll bring it up for the Mavs. Nine-point game. Left side Irving over Edwards. And it's Irving missing. For Minnesota, they've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Here's Edwards. And it's rejected. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. the Timberwolves making a change here. Reed's checked in. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Clock at six. Pass to Towns. Takes a three. Another miss by Minnesota. Dallas shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Luka against resistance. And you know, you look at Doncic for a forward, this guy handles the ball extremely well. He's terrific at creating for himself off the dribble. Outside Edwards. Reed with it. Towns outside. That's a Reed. Uncovered. And there's the call. Anthony Towns. That's foul number two for him. The Mavericks have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Doncic against Conley. And they doubled up Doncic. Pass to Exum. Nice D from Reed. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Yeah, and you know, when Edwards is aggressive, I think it forces defenders to try to get physical back. And when he's close to the rim, he usually is able to draw the foul as a result. the first. They're doing some good work at the line this half. 
Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Free throws good for Edwards. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Conley against Doncic. Luca on the attack. Savvy play call that time by Luca, creating some room for himself out there. Got some space, just what he needed. Conley up top, guarded by Doncic. And it's blocked. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Tell you what, guys, that's not an easy finish. But somehow, Doncic makes it look rather effortless. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Mavericks? Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. And I love the way they've been attacking the basket. I mean, they've looked to penetrate every opportunity they've had, and they've done a nice job doing that. And for Minnesota, they're shooting 44%, a pretty decent clip. Towns outside. Conley. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic. To the paint. Oh, got a piece of it. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. Conley against Doncic. And here's Edwards. Boom! He jams it straight down. Boy, you love to see Edwards shine on offense like this. I know it's got to be making his coach happy, too. Passes to Exum. Gafford up top. Washington outside. He shoots. They get it back. This is the baby hook. The Timberwolves shooting around 30% since the fourth quarter got underway. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on Doncic. And one of the best leaders in the NBA. This team loves having Mike Conley in their locker room. Shoot two. Free throw drops for Conley. drops them both. The Mavericks have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Here's Exum. McDaniels covering. And it's Gafford missing. And it's Conley with the ball for the Timberwolves. Trailing by ten. Ooh, once again, off the mark by Minnesota. And for Dallas, they're shooting just around 45% in the fourth. With a nine-footer. Oh, and Towns with the block. With that reach, Towns is going to get his fair share of block shots. There's no doubt about that. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Boy, what a nifty play off the dribble there. Creates barely enough space to get off the shot.
Mavericks leading. Pass to Gafford. Washington with the ball. Doncic outside. Now here's Irving. Shot clock at three. Over Edwards. Here's Gafford. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. The Timberwolves shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. Here's Conley. Mavericks with the rebound. Doncic has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And Irving, the bucket on the assist from Doncic. Irving's got four points this quarter. Irving, so much fun to watch in this one so far. Utilizing every aspect of his offensive game. Inside. With the seven-footer. And Reed with a nice bucket inside. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget. But in the second half, he's looked a lot better. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. on the first good on the second one Here's Conley. Pass to Reed. Outside McDaniels. The shot won't fall. Dallas shooting at a respectable 49%. Doncic on the wing. He's guarded by Conley. Doncic, good. Doncic has got 14 points now in the second half. Nice work from Doncic, doing a good job finding a way to get it done inside. Here's Reed. Outside McDaniels. Back to Reed. Stolen by Gafford. And a fast break now. The Mavericks on the run. Irving for three. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Doncic has got his seventh assist here tonight. He can be dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first, but we know he can get on the roll and knock him down. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make him earn those points from deep. Don't give them to him free at the line. Free throw is good. And he nails the third. Now Doncic. Exum. 
Washington outside. Puts it up from 12. McDaniels with the rebound. McDaniels got six rebounds here tonight. Left side Conley. Washington again three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Washington's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Irving. Count that bucket. Irving's got 15 points in just the second half. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Pass to Reed. Back to Edwards. Great D that time from Irving. Dallas has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Doncic on the wing. Back to Irving. Over Edwards. That one rolls around and rims out. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. Can hit it from 12 feet. The Mavericks shooting just around 45% on the fourth. There's Washington. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. And the Mavericks lead by 15. Timeout time call. Time the out. Timberwolves. You know, one guy who's been getting it done is Luka Doncic. He's been on a mission. Attacking the basket all game long. I'm curious to see what adjustments they can make. Let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. Well, I tell you what, it's been so much fun watching him do his thing out here. I mean, the game is looking effortless for him, and he's riding that wave of confidence and momentum, which has allowed him to completely take over and dominate. Well, the Western Conference belongs to them, and he's a huge reason why. He's answered the call for this group and has played some incredible basketball during this postseason run. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Chris Finch said to the team. He wants his team to be careful with the ball. He's not happy with the amount of turnovers they've coughed up so far. He believes if they focus on being more patient on offense, that will help cut down on the giveaways. Guys, back to you. All right, Ali, thanks once again. Washington shot is good. And the Mavericks lead by 17. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. Yeah, I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. Now here's Conley. He's there, he's there. McDaniels from long range. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. And Dallas with possession. They're on a 14-4 run. Here's Exum. That one falls. What a game and moment for these guys. One they'll likely never forget. I mean, they've come away victorious. And the next stop is the NBA Finals for the Mavericks. What would you say the deciding factor in this game was, Grant? Yeah, B.A., ultimately you have to look at their field goal percentage. They were the more efficient team because they found clean looks all night. 
Boy, what an impressive showing from them here in these conference finals. Right from the jump, they look like the more dominant and confident team, and they just steamrolled their way to a sweep in this one. And there was never any doubt who the best team in this series was. They didn't just beat their opponent, they decimated them. Not even allowing them to win one game in this series. They have to feel good about themselves heading into the NBA Finals. And what a huge performance it was for Luka Doncic. Boy, the way he orchestrated the pace was impressive. I mean, moved the ball around, made good things happen with the pass. Well done. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The Mavericks on offense. They're on an 18-4 run. Here's Gafford. And he makes it on the layup. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. And Minnesota has possession. After the Mavericks picking up a basket just a moment ago, Edwards. That one rolls around and rims out. Here's Exum. So the Dallas Mavericks have won the series. You know, they had to battle through the very tough Western Conference, but they were able to survive the test and earn a trip to the finals. Well, this was their vision from day one. They believed in themselves, and now, Grant, they're close to accomplishing their ultimate goal. Yeah, no question, B.A. They'll take a second to appreciate how far they've come, but they'll be facing a tough opponent coming out of the East, and they need to be prepared mentally for that challenge. Yeah, the celebration for taking the West will have to be a quick one with the finals right around the corner. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. We'll see you next time.